Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube. <laughs> Here to help you break through fear and live an awesome life. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just laugh for no reason. <laughs> you know, I think about, I think about this whole channel and I'm thinking, it's like we are these powerful beings that can do anything we want and we don't, and we struggle with that. What? That is insanity. I'd be out of business. Well, I don't do that. I don't get paid for this, so <laughs> I'd be off on an island somewhere shooting this. Uh, much different kind of messages. All right, I have to do my plug because I don't have annotations now. Um, when you see this come out, those are free videos. It's a video series uh, that I offer to people who want to create online businesses and Maybe get away from what you're doing now. Yes, it costs money. It's a membership in you. It's an investment in you. And what you do is you learn how to use the internet. They even have their products and services that you can sell that uh, you don't even have to have your own. It's called affiliate marketing, not MLM or pyramid schemes. Uh, I don't really particularly like those. Uh, but affiliate marketing is a really great business model. Uh, and also the training can help you if you have your own business or if you want to create your own business, it's the same platform that shows you how to do all of that, reach markets and have people come to you. How great would that be to not chase somebody for, you know, to make a sale for something? And if you don't have a career, this will be a career for you. All you have to do is take it seriously. Invest in you. Boy, people don't think twice about buying a franchise and spending a boatload of money and then working their tail off. And then people go, oh, I have to buy, you know, pay for this. Yeah, you have to pay for it. There's a lot of people who put a lot of work into uh, training, and they're wonderful, and they're there for you. So if you're interested in it, click for the series. You'll get a, you know, a whole bunch of stuff from me, and you can contact me directly. I actually really work with the members for free. All right, so we're back to Ernest Holmes' Creative Mind and Success. I did one about money. Money, a spiritual idea. Ooh, see, even if, if, you, if you recoil when I say money, a spiritual idea, then obviously you have some work to do because you're thinking, oh, it's not spiritual to say that. Then you always, then that's a concept. That's another belief system. That's the ego creating a story, right? Let it go. Money's part of everything, just like. You need your car, you need the gas to put in the car, you need food, you need money to buy food. It's all part of the system we work with in the material world. You know, maybe someday we'll live in a world that doesn't require money. You just, you need something, you go get it. All right, so the thing that I love, this is one of my favorites, is action. My uh, video ad for my internet training one of the things I say is you can sit there and try and manifest and mm, all you want, but if you're not taking the action, it's not going to happen. The universe says, hey, listen, you didn't come here to just get stuff. You came here to experience it. You came here for the journey, the learning, the sadness, the pain, the you know all the things that you learned that take you to greatness. You wouldn't know what greatness is if you didn't experience the loss, the sadness, the struggle. That's what being human is, and we reject that. We don't want that. We just want to go straight over here. Doesn't work that way. But you don't have to suffer. You can feel pain without suffering. Suffering is when you hang on to it, you create a story, and you focus on the worst of all of it instead of seeing the beauty in it and what you can learn from and how you can progress, mostly spiritually. All right, so action. The universe is teeming with activity. There is motion everywhere. Nothing ever stands still. Of course not. All activity comes from mind. Ooh, powerful. Here we go. You're going to have to take responsibility. If we want to be in line with things, we must move. Now, I'm always saying that. Move your furniture. Go out. Take a class. I just went up to the mountains over the weekend and shot up there if you saw those videos. Uh, I take my camera with me. I take my computer because I'm my internet marketing. I can work any in the anywhere in the world. That's another plug, by the way. And then, um, so, you know, you ha we're here to expand, right? 
We must move. This doesn't mean that we must strain or struggle, but we must be willing to do our part by letting the law work through us. If you're not expanding and going out and opportunities are not acting on it, nothing will happen. There goes an opportunity. There goes an opportunity. And you're sitting in your house going, nothing's coming to me and um, my manifesting isn't working. Yeah, it is. It's like, hello, McFly. God can do for us only as we will allow him to do through us. He flows through us. We are part of that party, uh, part of that energy. Part of that energy. Intelligence gives us ideas, and in our turn, we work on them. But our work is no longer done in any sense of doubt or fear, for we know that we are dealing with something that never makes a mistake. It never makes a mistake. And you're thinking, no, 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 my poverty is a mistake. Nope. Your poverty is what you sent to the universe or believed through somebody else's false ideas. Sorry, it never makes a mistake. So if you want to know what you're thinking, look around you. We proceed with a calm confidence born of the inner trust in a power that is infinite. Infinite! That's exciting! Get excited! You have no limits! Behind all of our movements, then, is a great purpose to let the law work through us. Uh, that is, oh my gosh, th what? God isn't separate? You mean it's working through me? That all I have to do is put in my order and believe it and know it's done? Holy cow! Are we the most awesome species in the universe and we don't know it? And then we use it for destruction. We can turn all of that around. We must comply with the law of activity. We must be willing to take the way of outer activity. Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus. We may have to go, but there will be a, well, we may have to go, but there will accompany us something that never fails. So in other words, yes, Jesus was, died on the cross, if you believe that. Yes, he went into the tomb. He had to do it. That was part of his thing. But... But he came back. You can't kill you can't kill Christ. You can't kill us either. You'll never die. It never fails. It's never ending. You can't defeat it. You can't kill it. This law of activity, so don't be afraid. This law of activity we must use in our business. So many business places that we go into have an atmosphere of inactivity, produce such a drowsy feeling that we at once lose all interest in what's going on. If you ever felt that, you go in a store and you're like, let's get out of here. We don't feel like buying. We leave that place without any apparent reason and go to another. We feel confident that this is the place we are looking for. We will buy here. We find just what we want. We are satisfied with our purchase and go away cheerful. It had an atmosphere, a feeling that was positive. Now, to create this activity, something more than thought is essential. Not that it does not come first, but the one who has this thought of activity will naturally manifest it in vigorous, energetic movement, which helps to produce a spirit of activity in his business and in everything he undertakes. Wherever you see a man who does not move, then you will find one whose thought is inactive. The two always go together. I've talked about this. I don't care what you do. Hey, listen, we went up to the mountains. We went into this crazy bar to watch this band. Had a, had a cocktail and sat next to a guy that I think my girlfriend's going to marry. I'm convinced of that. I'll keep you posted. So a man in a store or place of business should always be moving his goods. He should always be doing something. People will see this and getting the thought of activity behind it will want to trade there. We are not attracted to a store that always, always has the same things in the same shelf. The world likes action, change. Action is life. Now, I know we're petrified of change. <gasps> oh, change. I mean, okay, I don't like where I am, but oh, I'm going to have to go over here. This means this is going to be really uncomfortable. Hey, listen, I'm sitting there at my computer today thinking, oh my gosh, I just put my last edit in, push the button, and... My publisher said, sit back and relax. We'll come back with the final book. And I went, uh-oh, now what? I started another novel last night. And I get real antsy because it's like, 
<gasps> I need to have action. I need activity going, right? Action is life, but it's a little scary too. It's like, oh gosh, okay, now what? I, I knew that I had finished the book. I had all these things I had to do, and now it's like, now what? Change. Change just happened, whether I liked it or not, and I need to direct it to where I want to go. Let a clerk in a store think activity and begin to manifest it. Even though he, he may not be waiting on customers, in a short time, he will be waiting on them. Remember, I had you write your story. Eventually, it's going to show up. Alertness is the word. Always be alert. There must be mental alertness before there can be physical activity. All right. I'm going to skip a little bit. The man who is active in his thought doesn't have to sit by himself to think. He works while he thinks and so complies with the law which has to work through him. The thought of activity makes him move and the thought of confidence makes his movements sure and the thought of supreme guidance makes his work intelligent. That's somebody who's not thinking, he's not having to sit and control everything, that's opening up and the universe flows through and you know what to do and you get ideas and you listen to them and act on them. Life will never become tiresome to the active mind and body. If you can't find anything new to do, go home and change the bed around. Ah, I do this. Or the piano, put the cook stove in the parlor. Boy, you can tell this is an old book. And eat in the back step for a time. My grandparents used to say that. Back step. The wide awake person can find so many things to do that he hasn't time to begin in his life and he knows that eternity is necessary to carry out the ideals that he already has evolved. That's how I feel. I was thinking, oh my gosh. Wow, how much more time do I have? I have all these things I need to do. It's sort of mind-blowing. I think that way. Everything comes from mind, but mind acts on itself. And we must act on ourselves and on conditions. Not as a slave, but as a master. Be interested in life if you want life to be interested in you. Act in life, and life will act through you. So will you also become one of the great people on earth. So many of us are afraid of life. We're petrified. We don't want to be here. We don't like life. We don't like what's going on in our life. Start to think positive thoughts. Take the action. Make the change. Do things, and things will become very clear to you. I had no clue I'd have an internet channel. A YouTube channel? Come on, seriously? You should see my early videos. They're hysterical. They're horrible. I didn't know what to say. And all of a sudden, because I stepped out into that, and I bypassed fear and ideas of what I should or shouldn't be doing, my, my destiny started to appear. My pathway was clear. And now it's taken me to other wonderful things because I take action and I do stuff. I'm always trying new things. Not all of them work, but I always benefit and something wonderful comes from it. Take action. Do not sit in that house and fearful of the world because the world's happening whether you like it or not. Wishing you joy, abundance, happiness, prosperity, action. Namaste.